Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I have just been progressing a little bit um, in the last episode, so we got our integrated circuits, and uh, it's time to continue on. Uh, I did already do this. Um, might as well just go ahead and do it again, I guess. Um, so I just need, what do I need? I need one steel. I'm getting low on steel here. I only have six ingots. I am, I think I have tons of oxygen, right? I don't have a ton, but, um, all right. I guess I will turn that back on to produce more oxygen because I am going to use a bunch to craft up a stack steel. If I can remember. Yeah, so this takes 25 seconds. I could do wrought iron, it's quicker. Um, but then I'm using double the amount of oxygen. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, I start that all up. And, uh, yeah, so what did I need? Find the annealed copper wire. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any annealed copper on me. Oh, I have some right here. Don't remember why I made that, but that goes in there. I've been kind of <laughs> putting the components in here. This is usually my like, set aside chest, but I've kind of started using it for components. All right, and then we'll roll. Go do this now. <laughs> I wish my base wasn't quite so spread out, but I still I like the look of it. So. But here is the steel rings. I think it just goes in there, doesn't it? Nope. I don't remember. Ah, uh, polyethylene. Did I screw something up? Okay, so the annealed copper, that's... Okay. I did remember doing it in that, but the if you use annealed copper, you get a better rate. Um, but it does require the higher tier. So there we go. Alright, so... That will be those. What do we get here? Um, I don't think... Yeah, I get a better ratio of these, but do I use these? What am I going to use these for? Like, is there... Anything? I mean, these cable diode things, which I haven't used, or the transformer. Ah. So this, this is why it is wanting me to craft them up. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take these, I guess. Because now it's asking me to do this. Okay. So... Um, I do need another integrated circuit, so I need two of those to go along with that. Um, the nickel 
What is this nickel zinc? I can't remember the name. Nickel zinc ferrite or something. How do you craft this? I'm assuming you mix together stuff. I'm not seeing. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way to make this. Uh, maybe an alloy. All right. Ferrite mixture dust in the blast furnace, which I can do. Does use quite a bit of um, oxygen, but it's just iron, zinc, and nickel. I mean, I guess I'll I'll take that. Yeah, as opposed to the good plastic boards, because those aren't too bad to make either. All right, um, but let me get everything uh, together for the next part of this quest. So plastic circuit board I have. I need another integrated processor, though. So I need to yeah get this going, and then we will be back. All right, I got all the components uh, for the quest done, and I actually did enough for uh, six because I need uh, three workstations for the vacuum freezer. So I just went ahead and crafted everything up. Um, yeah, and I may, I just put batteries in here. Um, I took them from the, the oil rig that I'm not really using at the moment. No, I don't. This one's not dropping, so it doesn't look like I need uh, to put a, a battery in here. But anyway, so this, uh, I did enough for six, and then, yeah, because I need to do multiple ones of those. Um, well, I get 32 from this recipe. This one recipe I get 32 from. So that is a waste. This I get, I forget, 24 from one craft, so that's a bit of a waste. I'm going to take the circuit boards. Um, just because that is a bunch of copper. And uh, they I think they take like 10 seconds each, too. So that's worth it. So the last thing, and there is the four plastic circuit boards that I actually do need. Now, this is requiring eight. I guess it's telling me to do. All right. So I thought it was only going to have me craft one, but apparently this quest wants you to craft four workstations. <laughs> and I didn't make enough. Um, so that is a bit of a pain. Um, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't get enough materials for eight of them. <laughs> so uh, once again, let me uh, get the rest of this uh, crafted up. I'd have a lot of this stuff, um, but I may need a couple extra things here. All right, we went ahead and got everything. I think. There we go, and I just need to craft the workstations, and I think, I think we'll be good here. I don't, I didn't see how long these take. Ooh, I'm a bit short on that. How much do these use anyway? I can even, there it is. Okay, so that's quite a lot. They use a whole ingot uh, to craft one of these. So that is like really going through my soldering iron, which isn't the end of the world. But anyway, I got um, some aluminum cooking up here. I'm just electrolyzing lazurite. I find that's a pretty decent way to get aluminum dust. Um, 
Ooh, we ran out of power somewhere. Is it this? Yeah. All right. So definitely should probably grab a another battery. I still haven't really worked out what is causing that. I'm pretty sure it is just uh, cable loss, which is causing the problem. Um, but I think throwing a battery in the machine is a good just kind of like uh, a way to get around that instead of like trying to rearrange cables and all sorts. Um, because these aren't running permanently, so they'll fill up while I'm not using them, and then... Um, yeah, I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. I could just do a battery buffer. I mean, that is the other option, but... Eh. I think that's okay. Let me out. Um, okay, so... There is that. Now these... Oh, I get all four, so that's cool. And what is this? All right. So it's telling me to get the next tier up advanced circuit assembly machine. It probably needs two of these, I'm guessing. Yeah, it needs two of those. Um, these aren't horribly, like they're not, terrible to craft um, just kind of requires a bunch of items but a lot of it's really not that difficult uh, to make um, but what I am planning I want to use these for instead of that I want um, This is another, sorry, I totally just like <laughs> changed, changed my uh, train of thought there. The microprocessor is another, is that what they're called? Micro? Yeah. So if I ever want like LV, but these are quite expensive now that I'm looking at it. Eh, I don't know. I mean, these are just as good. The vacuum tubes are still annoying, but anyway, um, there's my four workstations. Um, I'm going to, I want to get the vacuum freezer. So let's take a look at that. So we got our three EV circuits, the workstation. Um, and I'm just going to need a bunch of E's. It's only a three by three, so it's not a large... Um, so I need an energy hatch, a maintenance hatch, input bus, input bus. Nothing too crazy here. Um, curious what tier, like energy, do I need to be putting in this thing? Um, so like that needs to be... All right, so 120. It needs to be at least MV. Um, but let's take a look at that. So it wants us to craft the vacuum freezer and 21 frost proof machine casings. Um, yeah, let me um, figure out how many, what, uh, I just, do I need to do, hmm, what tier is, Nichrome and Canthal are kind of one of the main things I need for this. So Nichrome does need an HV vacuum freezer. Maybe it is time, maybe I should just go ahead and do the HV. Anyway, let me get this crafted up and uh, figure out where I want to put it. Um, I don't, I don't have an HV, any batteries or anything. So that is kind of 
the thing. Um, yeah, let me figure this out and we will be back. All right, I have got the last of the Frostproof machine casings. So there is that, that one, and then the vacuum confuser is right there. So that is that quest completes. It gets me some food. Let's throw that in there. And then the rest of the things are right here. This is actually a pretty easy multi-block. Wasn't it was just a bunch of aluminum basically. Um, those were annoying. And eh, those aren't too bad anymore. Um, so let's go ahead and build this. I ended up doing an MV energy hatch until I kind of get a little bit more um, HV infrastructure because I'm going to have to split out or I'm going to have to like figure out how I want to do this. Uh, I may, yeah, I don't know. It just, it's going to take me a little bit of time and uh, like, where do I want, do I want? Anyway, I don't want to like worry about that right now. But uh, I moved a couple of these machines down um, because there's machines in there now. So uh, I have a little more room. And I figured why not just throw this on the end. Um, yeah, I don't know how many more MV machines I'm going to be crafting because I'm kind of moving into the HV age. So I don't know if I need any more. I would like to cover that usually don't like having stuff out in the open but anyway so if I remember correctly so let's I'm gonna do it kind of like this and then I'll put the energy hatch the MV energy hatch down this way I don't know if it's connected. The, and the hatches, it seems like it won't automatically connect to a hatch, which is actually kind of cool. Um, but it can be a bit annoying when you like are certain. Yeah. So that didn't automatically connect. But uh, yeah, it stops like unwanted explosions and stuff. Which is, uh, I think I did that right. And then this goes, I think this goes right in the middle. Yeah. And then let's do, we'll do input bus. I guess we'll do maintenance hatch on that side. I'll put and then the rest just like this. I think that's it. Alright, yeah, everything looks like it's formed. It's got the usual uh, problems. I can never remember if the wire cutter is a thing. That's one of them. Screwdriver, hammer, soldering iron, and crowbar. I need to charge that up. That's almost gone. I think that's almost all of them. Yeah, just the platings. I haven't checked these. Um, problem zero. Problem zero. I need that, won't need that. I'm just keeping an eye on so I don't get weeds over there. Alright, so there is the hammer now. Let's see. Um, let's pull this out. 
I've just been kind of having this run permanently. And it's actually doing really well. And I'm not losing steam or anything, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so hammer. All right, so that is everything. Now I need a hot ingot. Um, oh, uh, also, in between episodes, I started having pollution issues, and I got a little tired of being slowed every time I walked over here. Because as we can see, my pollution has gotten up to 500,000. And one of the quests way back here turn in 64 rubber sheets and you get the whole uh, suit. Now you can also repair these. Uh, I don't know how that works though. Ah, okay. So this is, I guess, this is how you like repair it the bucket of sticky glue and some rubber sheets. So that's cool. Um, but if I get hit with this, I will take durability loss, so don't want to be doing that. Um, but yeah, I, I did that, so wearing this, you won't get any effects of the pollution. Um, which, uh, this level of pollution isn't too bad. Like, we're not going to get any like permanent effects to the environment, um, so we're good. Um, but if it starts getting too high, it'll start like destroying blocks and stuff, I believe. And like plants. All right. Um, so the reason we wanted to do this is because I wanted to upgrade my blast furnace. And I'm trying to remember. Um, so I want, yeah, there's the weeds. I don't want them to destroy my spread to the other crop. Um, oh, and by the way, I put a gold block underneath that crop. Otherwise, it won't reach its full growth. So as we can see, there's a gold block back there. Um, and actually, I someone did point out in a comment that if I centrifuges I do get small pile dust so two glowstone equals one gold so that's actually a really good source of gold it's probably easier than doing what I was doing with the chemical bath um, so that is definitely something I will look into doing um, I do believe it needs a yeah it needs an MV centrifuge which I don't think I have actually no I never built that anyway um, so the, the next stage of the, let's just do coil. So we're on Cooper nickel. The next one up is Canthal. So if we look at, um, be easier if I just do Canthal and get So yeah, we need the hot canthal ingots, and it's going to need 120, uh, which it should get, I think. But uh, we need canthal dust, which is iron, chrome, and aluminum. All right, so I need a bunch of chrome here. I don't have a whole lot, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have to work on getting a bunch of that. I have been trying to remember to centrifuging redstone gets you ruby dust which gets you chrome um, and electrolyzing that gets chrome is it? Yeah so I can actually just oh we are full on oxygen it looks like Oh no, I had that disabled. I couldn't remember. Um, anyway, uh, let's let's get some iron. There we go. Iron dust. I don't think there's any other use other than upgrading the blast furnace with Canthal. Um, having been through Gred Tech a couple times, I don't 
think I ever used it for anything but that. Um, so I don't have to actually. Um, does the mixer get you a better ratio? It doesn't. So anyway, so there is the Canthal. Um, what? Takes 90 seconds at 1800. Yeah, you can't add any, like, any uh, gas to it to make it go faster. But anyway, we'll throw that in there. So 15, I think I need, if I remember correctly, I think it's two stacks of ingots to make the coils. Um, so once again, it's kind of be a lot of kind of crafting up in between episodes for this. Um, but uh, I just wanted to actually, I do have this overclocked. This recipe is half the yeah, because this recipe is, yeah, this is an MV recipe, and I have my blast furnace running at HV. So this is actually overclocked, um, so it won't take as long as I originally thought, but it's still going to take, you know, what is it, about two minutes for three ingots, and I need 120, so it's going to take about, I what, 45 minutes of crafting up here. Um but I need to get chrome for sure. Um, and I have a bunch of lazarite for the... Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of lazarite for aluminum. So I'm going to have to... Let's see. Do I have ruby dust or ruby ore? that I haven't done yet. I do. Okay, so I have a bunch of ruby ore. I'm wondering if I should just... I don't think I need those. Um, do I need flawless rubies for anything? I have no idea what that is. Time produces such a temperature you would hate to use it incorrectly. I have no idea what that does. We're nowhere near it. Wow, look at that time. Um, but maybe the that's in the quest. So I don't know if I even need to keep these. Uh, there's a, I could turn them into exquisite rubies. I have a bunch of them. Or pulverize it down into two. Um, I may just kind of like pulverize this all down. I'll keep those, I guess. Um... But yeah, a lot of this I'm just going to have to kind of do uh, in between episode. Yeah. And then I'll throw it through the sifter, which is full of diamonds. Anyway, let's go take a look at this hot ingot. Now, the hot ingots you will take damage from, I am assuming. So let's just test that out. Yeah, so let's just we'll throw that on the ground for now. And if I put these on, I wonder if actually do the gloves work with that? Oh, there goes my slow debuff. No, the gloves do not work with the hot ingots, it looks like. Yeah, it's giving me weakness too. So that was the reason I wanted to get the suit. Um, let's see if... Yeah, the hazmat suit does stop the hot ingots from taking damage from the hot ingots. Okay, so anyway, basically we just put the uh, hot canthal ingots in there. Uh, hopefully... I wonder... I'm a little worried this is not getting enough power to be honest like is it too far down the line I just don't want to I don't want to like lose an ingot because it's quite 
It's only six seconds worth. Um, is there any way I can like check that though? Let's throw another one in. No, it appears it's getting enough. So we'll. I just wasn't a hundred percent sure. Yeah, it's not like dropping or anything. So I think we're good. Um, but anyway, there is our canthal. Take that out as well. And I'm assuming, I think after this, yep, yeah, so there we go. Better materials need higher temperatures. You exchange your old coils and new ones. You can even reuse the old coils and other machines. How fancy is that? Um, so there is the quest for the 16 Canthal. Um, so I need molten copper. So one ingot of copper. And then there's mica insulated stuff. So I'm going to have to farm up a bunch of that as well. Um, I can't remember the whole process of that. It has been a while. But anyway, so there is the, the vacuum freezer. So that is a pretty big step in moving forward. Um, I feel like we're making pretty decent progress here. Um, and one of the things that I did not realize, sorry, I'm just so worried about my weeds. <laughs> that is, uh, I noticed this quest, HV is the age where you should focus on reaching the moon as soon as possible. You need titanium in large quantities. And uh, I can actually get bauxite on the moon as well, which will help with my gallium. So maybe, We can look into getting some of the space stuff done. And I, I don't think I've ever done a collect craft. Um, so kind of going into this blind. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Um, I will probably make a bunch of mistakes and <laughs> not know what I'm doing. But uh, that's part of the fun of Minecraft. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.